Hello there, this is Chris from Hostcom and this is a video demonstration of a inbound contact centre. This is our hosted inbound contact centre based on Vichydial. As probably some of you might be aware, Vichydial uh, is a predictive dialer outbound um, uh, server, but, uh, but it's also got a fantastic um, inbound contact centre um, part of it as well. Lots and lots of functionality there. And that's what we're going to look at right now. OK, so what we've got here is on the left hand side pane here uh, on this split screen, we've got the administrator um, console with all of the settings along the t along the, uh, the side here on the main menu. Uh, we've got an inbound uh, group campaign set up and we'll go through some of the features in a second. And then on the right hand side here, uh, this is the, this is the actual agent interface. So left side is the uh, administrator or supervisor window right side is what um, the agent would look at. You'll notice they're both web pages so the, the entire thing is completely web based. Um, when the agent logs in the dialer rings the agent to log them onto the session. This can be an external DDI number or it can be an internal SIP address if you're using VoIP which of course this system does. Okay so first off let's look at the inbound settings. You'll notice there's a colour here so when the when a call comes in on this inbound group it flashes red on the agent screen so they know um, exactly how to answer it. Um, we can set a screen pop okay, to an internal um, CRM system or database so when the call comes it will look at the customer's number and pop their details up. We can set call routing, the usual stuff, longest idle, round robin, ring all, random, that sort of thing. Um, we can also, uh, the, the agents can also transfer calls out so we can set a number of prefixes um, preset numbers that uh, so the agent just presses a button to route it through to an external number. In terms of the queue itself, uh, the number of seconds uh, before the call is dropped and then we've got a number of actions here uh, to to do to that call once the, uh, once the uh, call's been dropped. So hang up, play a message, route it to another hunt group, that sort of thing. Um, after hours messages, that sort of stuff. And then we've got a whole load of settings here. Um, very, very customizable. This. Um, this is when the caller's in the queue. Uh, we can play hold time, uh, projected hold time, place in the queue, estimated hold time, uh, the usual things, customizable greetings that can be recorded. And then we've got a whole load of options here so that uh, the person in the queue can press various buttons. Uh, you can play a message to the person in the queue saying press 1 to do this, 2 to do that, 3 to do that, 4 to do that, etc. Uh, even things like um, uh, if, the, um, if the agent wants to retain their position in a queue, they can just press a button and then their CLI will be taken. They'll be automatically rung back when, it's, um, when, when they get to the front of the queue. Really, really good during busy times for your contact centre. Um, but uh, yeah, extremely configurable. It looks um, looks quite complicated but uh, as you can see it's just all drag and drop uh, and you know there's no, there's no scripting to write it's just point and click that sort of thing. Okay uh, so this is the queue setup. Um, we'll now just go to the real-time campaign summary. What this is, is effectively it's a wall board okay and uh, we've got a campaign set up here. What we're going to do now is we're going to get the agent to log in and you'll see some information pop up on the real-time report there. Uh, actually just um, did forget to mention one thing quickly uh, we've also got the um, we can also set up an IVR as well okay so uh, we can set up an IVR it's called a call menu okay so when a call comes in we can ask the, uh, the, the caller to press button one two three four etc okay this is all set up here uh, the options okay usual stuff pretty straightforward again very point and click easy to set up okay so that's the IVR we can easily set up an IVR on this inbound campaign as well so the real-time campaign summary uh, and again this is uh, real-time we can have stop which is basically static we can have slow updates or go which is fast update every three seconds okay so let's log in what I'm using here is I'm using a soft phone I've already put in the uh, the phone login so that's the phone login password and then the user and password as well just in case the agent wants is using a different phone today okay so that's why they're separate so we'll log in 
That's rung my soft phone. I'm going to answer that. Probably heard it say the dial is agent logged in there. That's good. Now we've got some information on the left hand side here. So I'm just going to select the in group here. Press submit. And there I am logged in. OK, so this is the agent uh, interface and this is an inbound campaign. OK, we've got um, as soon as uh, if, if the uh, if you've got a database loaded on there with your client information, um, when the call comes in, it'll look at the CLI of the person that's rung you, interrogate the database and pop the information into this uh, into these fields here. So the uh, the agent knows who they're talking to. Or it can also screen pop an external web based CRM system and that would also pop up on the screen here. OK, so what we're going to do is um, the, we're going to resume. So the agent's now ready to take a call. OK, and you'll now see this change. OK, so on the real time screen here, uh, we've got uh, right here, we've got the, um, the station ID. OK, so we're using a SIP phone. So that's why it says SIP CC249. OK, the name of the agent, which is here. So we've just got Hostcom test agent, session ID. Session ID can be used if um, a supervisor wants to listen in on a call. Status is closer or inbound. These are the minutes that the agent's been logged in and the campaign ID. And they've taken seven calls today. There's a, there's a code here which will change as the agents um, go through the campaign. Um, settings at the top here. Uh, we've got um, again. If it's blended, you'll you'll see things like number of dialable leads, um, lots of stats relating to outbound uh, outbound calls, but also number of calls today, how many have been dropped from the queue, how many answered. Okay, so let's put a call in. Okay, and uh, that's basically come straight through again. Got a bit of feedback here because it's right next to the mic. Just turn that down, and um, so we've got the agent uh, basically talking to the client here, and you'll see the real-time display there is now saying in call, and it's uh, and it's timing that. Apologise about the uh, feedback here. Let me just hang that up. Okay, so the agent's now uh, hung that call up, and uh, the real-time display is now saying dispo, right there. Okay, that means disposition. So I'm going to disposition that sale made. Okay. Or we and then back round again. So now you'll see it's immediately updated. This agent's now waiting. So um again, apologize about the feedback in advance here, but I'm gonna now show you what happens if two calls come in. So let's get to the first one going. Okay, now that's agents now in a queue. We'll set up the next call. This is a second call coming in. And there you see, on the right hand side there, you'll now see that the um, second call's been queued up and it's indicated red. So the main call's in a the main agent's in a queue there and the second call is now stacked in, a, in the queue waiting, listening to hold music. Okay, so let's turn that off before it drives us both mad. And again, back round to the disposition screen. This is basically a set of um, preset codes for the agent to select. So we'll say wrong number in that case and select it. And now because that call's finished it's taken automatically taken the second call in the queue and you'll see that dropped out of the queue and routed straight through to the agent. Okay so we'll hang that up again. Fantastic. Okay so that's um, that's really how the inbound call works. We'll stop tour of inbound call report of uh, the inbound calls, inbound campaign. Um, I'm Chris and this is Hostcom doing this video demonstration. Thank you very much.